have a confession to make. I really like the Green Lantern movie. <laughs> okay, I saw Green Lantern at an advanced screening last Thursday. And I, I wouldn't say I loved it, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, at the time I saw it at least, I would give it probably an 8 out of 10. Now that I have read a lot of the really critical reviews um, from, you know, the actual critics and just normal people, you know, fans and all that, I, I, can, I can see their point in a lot of their criticisms, and I can look back and see some of the movie's flaws, and I can judge it a little bit more harshly and give it probably a 7. But I still liked it. There are a few reasons that this may be so. One is I saw it the day after I saw, um, what is it called? The Art of Getting By, which I think is one of the most boring, draggy, tedious, annoying movies I've ever seen in my life. Don't watch that movie. Um, so definitely in comparison, Green Lantern was like a masterpiece. <laughs> so that may, may be one reason why I rated it so high. Uh, second is I thought the trailer looked extremely stupid and it didn't make me want to see the movie at all. I'm vaguely familiar with the concept and basic storyline of Green Lantern, but I couldn't call myself a fan because I never had any sort of Green Lantern cartoon franchise that I watched as a kid like I did X-Men, so I am not knowledgeable about the history very much at all. And so in that respect, too, I couldn't really compare it to the comics or anything like that to see how it measured up as an adaptation, but I've heard from a reliable source that the basic premise of how, you know, how it gets its powers was almost to a T from the original story. So maybe that doesn't make a difference at all. Uh, anyway, back to the trailer. I thought it made... You know, trailers a lot of times take the, mo the cheesiest, most cartoony, over-the-top moments and put them all together, and that's what I feel like Green Lantern did, and it looked so stupid and totally unappealing, I didn't want to see the movie. Um, Ryan Reynolds is like the IT star, especially with the ladies these days, and I never understood it. <laughs> I haven't really seen him in much except uh, The Proposal, which was a stupid movie, and um, so I couldn't really judge his acting. I hate Blake Lively. I haven't seen her in much either, but I haven't liked her in anything. I think she's really funny looking. Like, she has these little beady eyes and breast implants with a really skinny body. I don't get it. I guess a lot of guys think she's hot. I don't know. I'm, I'm a girl, so I can't really judge that either. Uh, I didn't think she was right for the part. Her acting in the, the trailers was horrible. She looks not right to be the leading lady matched with Ryan Reynolds. And uh, the CGI for the suit looked stupid too, and I just didn't want to see it. But... It was a free screening, and after the art of getting by, I really wanted something else to get that out of my mind. So, I saw Green Lantern. And, I really liked it! Uh, um, yeah, as I said, I would have given it an 8, like, immediately after I saw it. Now, probably about a 7. Um, I thought that Ryan Reynolds was like, really good as Hal Jordan. Um, I finally, I get his appeal now. He has, he's really likable as an actor. And I, I could have found uh, the character of Hal Jordan annoying, but he had something endearing about him that I really liked. Blake Lively, on the other hand, uh, my 
opinions from the trailer still stand. She was horrible. Her acting wasn't the worst I've ever seen, but not good enough. And basically, she looks like she's half of uh, Ryan Reynolds' age. And you know why? Because she is practically half his age. I think she's like younger than me around my age, and he's in his 30s. Yet the two characters were supposed to have grown up together, and, you know, they had a... Uh, they broke up and all this crap. And I'm like, really? He even called her kiddo in their first scene that we, we see her. And then when I find out their history, I'm like, what? She is a kiddo. Like, she shouldn't be matched up with you. That's not right. So, yeah, she was really out of place. It, it, miscast, definitely. Ryan Reynolds was perfect. I have to say, my humble opinion. My brother thought that the CGI was overused and made it look cartoony. And, you know, I saw it in 3D, and I don't know if, like, I don't really like 3D movies that much. I mean, at least have to pay extra for it. But it was free, so it was fine. Uh, I don't know what it looked like without the 3D. It Now that he told me that, I think can kind of see what he was saying, because um, for a live action movie, it, in some places it did feel kind of like a cartoon. Like, all the space scenes, I could kind of forget it, but my main problem was with the Green Lantern suit, and especially the mask. First of all, the mask did not cover anything to disguise his identity, and they even made that in, in joke in the movie. So I was okay with that kind of... But, uh, in his suit, it, from the far away scenes at least, it looked like a cartoon, I have to say. Uh, up close it was okay, but yeah, I don't know why they couldn't just put him in an actual suit of real clothing. I don't know, it, it looked weird. It, w it was off, I do have to say that. So that's another point against it. Um, the second, I f do feel like it was a lot crammed in for an introductory movie. Uh, there are basically two villains. There's the one, there's the main villain called Parallax, which is basically a big monster made up of people's fears in space that's coming toward Earth. And then there's this other dude, Hector Hammond, who was uh, a scientist and kind of low self-esteem, you know, had a father who thought he would never amount to anything, blah, 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 who gets infected with the, the parallax substance, I think, and becomes all mutated, and he's a villain. Uh, it, it was a little bit too much crammed in there. I don't think it was too Spider-Man 3 levels of bad, but thinking about it, I, they probably could have done dealt with one villain and then left the other one like Parallax for a sequel. It was maybe they weren't sure they could get a sequel, so they're like, we're gonna put it all in right now. I don't know. It's kind of what I felt at the end of X-Men 2. Uh, X-Men First Class, I mean, not X-Men number 2, because I didn't see that one. <laughs> I don't know. Until I see the movie again, my good opinion still stands. And of course, I am totally unqualified to talk about this I'm not an, an expert, I'm not a fan girl on Green Lantern, I'm not a movie critic, I don't really know much about the movie making process, and blah blah blah. I liked it. I think that everybody should, if they're interested, watch it and just see for themselves what they think. Don't pay attention to the all the negative reviews. Uh, if you wanted to see it. Don't let that stop you. Um, of course, it could just be that I'm a fool and I'm a loser for liking it, and that's okay too. I still give it a 7 out of 10.